Therefore, what can we cause the nuclear power plant? We should add in here. What kind of the the decommissioning cost? Actually, to shut down and and uh, uh, and and, and uh, uh, clean up uh, everything after you're done producing. Oh, shutdown cost. Right, the shutdown costs are extremely high for mm -hmm. nuclear power plants, but they don't put those shutdown costs into the mm -hmm. cost of the energy they're, they're producing. Mm -hmm. So, uh, what this means now, I know, I remember again. Basically, this is the, the total cost to generate the power, and these are the input costs of those total costs. So this is the this is the basically this is uh, it doesn't cost anything to run a hydropower plant, but the cost to generate the electricity uh, costs uh, eleven point nine yen. If you want to uh, uh, run a oil uh, fired thermal power station, then you need to buy fuel. So the fuel costs are seven point two yen. Uh, the total costs to generate one kilowatt hour is the fuel cost plus personnel plus uh, maintenance and everything else that comes to the total cost being 7.2 uh, plus uh, 3.5 uh, is uh, 10.7 yen per kilowatt hour. Uh, so this is what it what is. What is the consist of hydropower cost? Uh, the plant, the to maintenance of infrastructure mm -hmm. and maintenance of operation. Okay. Right. operation. <clears throat> but if you visit, I, I went to Krobeda, it looks like no, almost nobody is working there, and, uh, and uh, uh, it looks like all, everything is very uh, smooth and, and, and just running standalone, but maybe that's, that's not entirely fair. I'm not sure whether the, the plant is still in operation, actually. <coughs> so, um, yeah, I think this, actually, this cost should be much higher. But, yeah, the economics are very important to look at the uh, uh, what is uh, uh, viable. So TEPCO and nuclear power. TEPCO had a net operating loss in 2011-2013, obviously because of the uh, uh, Fukushima disaster. But I, I looked at the uh, at the uh, annual report of 2016, and I saw that 2011-2013 it was um, uh, running a loss, but after that it's, it's become profitable again. According to their annual financial report in 2016, TEPCO received grants in aid for nuclear damage compensation and decommissioning of 700 billion yen per year from the government. They paid 679 billion for damage compensation. So, in other words, the government is paying for compensation, not TEPCO. How much in total do they need to cover for this damage? So they paid, the, in, in, in 2016, they paid 670, 679 billion for, for damage compensation. That's what they paid in that year, right? The government paid 700? Yes. It means government paid uh, everything. Paid more? Yes. You can just read it in their financial report. It's un it's unbelievable. Well, government pay the more. <laughs> well, uh, I don't know, but so we pay for it, actually, the taxpayer. Like uh, Obama said, mobile manufacturing industry, two thousand nine. Ah, right with the. Uh, So basically, it's like hundred percent is being paid by the by the government, mm. yeah. and that's how. Only, we but I uh, I'm a little skeptical. This only paid seven hundred billion to fill in damage or all damage. 
that's in 2016 alone, right? Oh, 2016 alone? Alone, yeah. How about in total? I don't know how much it is in total. Oh, it's a lot more, more yeah, money. yeah, yeah, a lot, a lot. So you can, you can just look financial report. Financial report, TEPCO, then it comes Only up. Only 2016, because otherwise they won't be bankrupt. So government uh, support that company, right? So before, mm -hmm. before 2016, uh, the TEPCO paid uh, money. Yeah, well, actually, it was a lot more in uh, right. before that. Two, two Here we go. So we see that, that actually there is a positive operating income in 2016, 2015, 2014, a loss in 2013, and a loss in 2012, 2011. Well, we need to see a few years. The figures. Loss, loss, the loss. So net income. Where did we have the special moment? Where do we have them? Ah, here. Extraordinary income stood at seven hundred seventy three billion and consisted mainly of grants in aid from the Nuclear Damage Compensation and Decommissioning Facilitation Corporation, totaling 700 billion and gain of revision of the uh, Retirement Benefit Scheme of 61 billion. Uh, extraordinary loss totaled 911.9 billion due mainly to the payment of compensation for damage caused by nuclear uh, accident totaling 670, 679 billion. 2016? 2016. What happened before that? Uh, probably other years. I, I don't know if the, uh, I can find a total amount of that. It's not specified in their profit and loss statement. Mm -hmm. But I think I don't think many people are aware of the fact that the taxpayer is paying the entire damage compensation. Uh, uh, after right. Okay, TEPCO and renewable energy. Power generation using, renew using renewable energy sources such as wind and sunlight is important to Japan because it uses only domestically producible energy sources. It's also garnering attention as promising countermeasure to global warming because it releases no CO2 or other greenhouse gases in the power generation process. Although output is easily affected by the change in natural environment conditions, we are focusing on the advantages of renewable energy and are actively promoting its development and introducing, while also considering its economic performance. I would say that's a carefully optimistic uh, assumption. Um, actually, uh, this year, TEPCO is... Uh, La is 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 uh, launching its spin-off company uh, that's focusing solely on renewable energy. Mm -hmm. um, so they are focusing on smart grid technology, uh, solar power, energy, solar energy. Uh, I believe they currently employ about 25, 20, 25 people. Uh, that's it. Mm. Yes. Jeffrey Char is one of one of a guy that I know. He's he's he started work there. Only twenty five people. Yeah. 
so that's but i mean that i mean if it depends on uh, the, the, those are not the people who are putting these these uh, installations together right but they are the ones who need to uh, make sure that this development will be uh, become to uh, um, will get maturity in, in inside japan The government. A recent report of a panel of experts at the Niki, uh, Ministry of Industry and Trade, on long-term energy strategy towards 2050 calls for a policy shift, policy shift towards making renewable energies such as solar and wind uh, a major source of electricity, but fails to set any targets for their shares of the nation's power supply. Since Japan lags far behind the rest of the world in promoting renewables, the proposed policy should be promptly backed up by clear long-term goals and has concrete roadmap for, uh, put to put them into action. However, the combined share of renewable energy sources, including hydro, the nation's power supply, stood at 14.6% of 2015, compared to 26% in Britain, 30% in Germany and 35% in Spain. So Europe is doing better, but but what is this? What is what percent is it? Uh, the the combined energy? share of renewable energy sources. Oh, so Japan, you you want to say Japan is too low? Yeah, Japan is 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 behind mm -hmm. uh, other uh, leaders in this field, but uh, mm -hmm. of course, uh, it's not it's not behind the United States. It's not behind the Netherlands. Uh, th there are other countries that that uh, that do not so much. But uh, the, the big countries in uh, in uh, in Europe are doing more than Japan at the moment. Japan has fallen behind the global trend of lowering the cost of renewable energy. The average European cost of solar in 2016 was 10 yen per kilowatt hour of electricity. The figure is 20 yen in Japan. It's twice. Why is Japan so expensive for solar? I think it's actually, it has to do a lot with the scale. Uh, I was very surprised. Scale. Yeah, the scale. I was very surprised to learn that, that there is such a little capacity uh, for uh, for solar power in the general household who has actually adopted this uh, this solar uh, solar energy. Mm -hmm. Okay, just just a couple of minutes. I'm going to try to right. recording again. Right. Otherwise, too long. Ah. Too long. はい、ま、先生、どうぞと、各種の午後はですね、え、日本のプログラムをしております。で、以前はこれ有料だったんで、今はですね、実際に会場費も取っていただいておりませんで、え、毎回5000円ということで、え、朝9時から午後5時までやっておりますので、え、ぜひ皆
各週の午後こういうふうな検証しておりますのでぜひご参加いただければというふうに思っておりますのでよろしくお願いします。でここにあのえー、さらにですねあのグループ討議とか実務の勘どころを教えるって書いてありますけど、まあ、実際には私があの10年ほどですね欧米の新聞とか雑誌等をですね集めてきたもともと英語のベースでございますのでそうしたものをですね50セッションのテーマに分けて資料策定を接しております、まあ、そういうことで世界のオペレーションもしくは関東リスクも含めてですねしかも世界のトップの方々に対してもいろいろな分析とか洞察をしてですね、議論をしております。そういったことも含めてですね、今後ともよろしくお願いしたいと思います。以上で私の挨拶を終えて終え,終えますが、まあ、今回のこのビデオの収録にあたってはですね、V キブさんのスタジオをお借りしてですね、お時間を頂戴してまあ、このビデオを作成させていただきました。よろしくお願いします。どうもありがとうございました。